Hi, do you have a kid who is always allergic or who is always getting sneezing, coughing, cold and maybe has skin rashes all throughout the year? This video is for you. Hi, I am Dr. Manjot, MD Dermatologist and this is my channel All About Skin. Hi, so I am going to be telling you everything about atopic dermatitis. Atopic dermatitis is a very common skin problem mostly seen in kids. It is defined as a chronic relapsing dermatitis associated with extreme itching. When we say chronic, we mean to, it is very long lasting. When we say relapsing, it can come and go throughout the year. Extreme itching is something that is always associated with a skin problem. It usually has an early onset and starts before 2 years of age in a kid and can progress till his puberty too. It has three types. The first one is infantile, which is below one year of age and usually seen on the extensors as the child is crawling. The second one is the childhood one and the third one is the adulthood one. These two are mostly seen on the flexors. So you see skin rashes on the elbow, grooves here, behind the knees, behind the ears. That's very common in them. And this problem is usually associated with a history of extremely dry skin and a family history of bronchial asthma or allergies in the family. How to identify atopic dermatitis? First thing, it is associated with extreme itching. Secondly, you will see skin conditions or skin problems in typical areas like flexors in the adults or adolescents. Thirdly, extremely dry skin. Fourth thing, hyperlinearity of palms. That means the palms of these kids who are affected will have extremely dark lines on them. Fifth, they could have lip eczema or eczema on the hands and feet. They could even have conjunctivitis. That sixth point is the Demi Morgan pore or the dark circles. Demi Morgan pores is an extra additional fold that they will have under the eyes. And dark circles is something that they get because of continuous rubbing of the eyes. Seventh, they have extreme facial redness, especially two red problems here are usually seen in such infants. Eighth, they are intolerant to wool. So anything that has fur or wool, that doesn't suit them very well. Nine, they have increased itching when they sweat too much. And the last thing, the tenth point that you can see is that their skin problem worsens with extreme temperatures. Let's talk about the different treatment aspects for atopic dermatitis or the home remedies that you can do to help your child. Firstly, it's emollients or moisturizers. They should be used within three minutes of your shower. Along with that, make sure they're fragrance free and paraben free. Secondly, wet wraps. Now this is something that you can do at home and it basically involves first applying the moisturizer, then using a layer of a wet dressing, which would be a wet sheet or a wet cloth, which is used on top of the moisturizer. It is further layered up with a dry sheet. So it's a three layer dressing that you do, a moisturizer, then a wet sheet and a dry sheet. This helps in retaining the moisture in such kids. Thirdly, avoid the allergen. The allergen could be woolen clothes or it could be a harsh soap. Make sure you keep your child away from them so they can avoid further allergies. Fourth thing, if nothing works, show a dermatologist to treat the infections give probiotics and along with that oral antihistaminics or anti-allergics which may help your child further. Thanks.